Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some checkups on the 51 Chevy pickup and then also giving you some background on what's going on with the Alice Chalmers WD. Let's get right into this. Right now, we're just, I'm right now checking every single tire pressure. I got all three of them almost done. I just put it up on the jack just to make it easier for me to measure the right amount of air pressure needed. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh god, this is about to be difficult here. Alright. Let me go get my tripod. My lovely tripod. Alright, so there's one. And then there's that. Okay. So then I'm gonna mount that to the, the phone there mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take this one right here and attach it like so I think I think that's how I did it I guess we need to stick to this because then I can talk to you guys like that right there. All right, anyway, let's get into this. So, got to see how that camera view is. Like so. All right. Just... These tires take 35 PSI. Uh, for each tire. And that was terrible. So I need about four, five, six, seven, maybe eight more pizza. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, one Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen. 15, 16, 31, so about 10 more seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, And as you can see, 35 on the dot. Yeah, there's that. So, wait, got Oh, got to put the uh, dice cap on. I like it. Just got to screw it on here. Well, we're back. I got everything put away. So next will be the oil. Can I get a good positioning? Probably not, but whatever. Put some, got this really nice looking bucket. It's like a magnet. So I don't know anywhere. Um, 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 something like that might work. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that. Well, I mean, it is like right there, so. Alright, there. I guess that'll work. Here, let me go get a rag real quick. 
And so yeah, this uh, takes, uh, I think it's 10W30 we put in it, but we put some really good racing oil in it because I want to run uh, uh, early eight, how do I say that? Early 18 second, 18 seconds in the eighth mile, but that's a long ways away, so. We're gonna push that back in. Make sure it's all the way in. Cause we wanna get a precise measurement. And, oh yeah, well, it'll probably need an ounce. We'll probably have to take an oil change to it, but for right now, for sitting in the garage, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say in the first maybe cup six, seven drives, and maybe, I don't know, going down the drag strip, maybe three times, we'll probably give it Give enough time to get that oil nice and thin, so you know it'll probably be time for an oil change coming up in the later July, maybe. Try, I want to go to Blue Suede Cruise and hang out with my buddy Loud and Ugly Garage with my truck because his truck looks base. Well, my truck looks basically like his, but I I don't know what type of name. I want to use for this truck, but right now I'm thinking about doing empty wallet because it's going to empty our wallet at the end. Because I want to get something for here. There. All right, I guess that's everything. So, you know, we can just go. There you go. And if you ask, first of all, why is the heater running? It's 31 degrees out, so you know, gotta have a, in Ohio, it's different. Ohio, it was 61 degrees yesterday, but it's 31 degrees now. You get the same? No, it's called Ohio weather. But you wonder why there's no headlight here. One headlight with a, not a beauty ring. Well, guess what? Me, your boy, dumbed up and broke a spring that goes to this headlight to the inside headlight right there you can see the little rivet there so i broke that i was gonna take that one off no i'm not because i don't want to break it so i'm waiting for a new spring in the uh mail along with the plug it goes on to here for it so I can get some headlights. But yeah, that's basically it for the 51 Chevy pickup. Now, the Alice Chalmers, the episodes that I was going to do didn't really happen because, you know, spark plugs and, dang, what did I do? The distributor did enough to piss off my dad. So, you know what? We're just gonna give you a little backstory of what me and my dad has been doing for the past, what, when was the last time? Maybe a month ago? But, as you see, brand new carburetor. Now, this was not, this is the original carburetor that we had on this tractor. It's just, we took it to a buddy of my grandpa's that knew how to restore old classic carburetors and now he got that making looking good. He even gave us instructions on how to actually make the tractor sound good when running. And then you also might have tons of questions. Why the gas tank? There ain't no gas tank. It's actually way over there. Um, you probably saw it when I was over there, but the gas tank, we saw some rust with a flashlight, so we took it to one of our friends down in Canton uh, to make this thing look pretty. He got all the paint off, sadly, so we gotta paint it. But so glad that he did it really good where he can, it, he didn't split any of this to make this fuel tank go into two. 
as you can see, a little scratching, but hey, don't don't look at it. Because the next video, hopefully, it'll be all nice and shiny, and then we paint it. And you can still see here, we got the factory rubbers. You know, what the heck? You know what, we're not gonna talk, look at that orange. That's what it needs to look like. But yeah, there's that. And then the Alice Chalmers, the three point, we did fix it. The three point has now been straightened. You know what I'm saying? It was way over here and my, my two other grandpas, that's not really any type of blood that I have that's in my neighbors, but they came up, they were both brothers and they're like, hey, we know what to do. We'll do it. So, hey, there's an 80-year-old lip working in our shop on a tractor. That's incredible. I mean, really, some people really don't get that type of experience with smart, classic farmers. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically an update. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully, we can get this running by the 4th of July because at Canton South... There ain't really no parades, so our family comes up with our own parade around our neighborhood. It's a figure eight, and we have all different types of classic tractors, exotic, exotic classic vehicles, muscle cars, trucks, golf carts. I mean, I think last time, 4th of July, we had, okay, hold on, give me a minute. One, two, three, four. I'd say five tractors if you count the garden tractor. Well, tractor. We had one, we had two of these, but it was a 52. And we had a 69 Camaro, which was ooh, beautiful. And uh, that's about it. So five, two, one. Five plus two, seven, eight. Eight! We would love more. So come on down, 4th of July, and man, have a beautiful blast. All right? So make sure to like and subscribe. I'm so sorry for all of the spacing in between months of no videos. I'm sorry. It's just, I have nothing to film. I mean, today it was just like, well, let's do this. Let's do that. I mean, so yeah, um, there's some a lot of updates coming up so make sure to like and subscribe and next time or maybe following you'll be seeing this on the drag strip have a good day bye